farmers. They've been looking up, hoping for rain clouds. This summer's drought taking its toll on Long Island's farmers and their crops. News 12's Joe Arena at a very popular family farm in Wading River right now. And Joe, I'm sure they're concerned, right, for their vegetables and pumpkins. Yeah, you bet, Doug. It's been a tough, long summer, and the drought doesn't only mean a slightly smaller corn maze for children to run through here at Fink's Country Farm this fall. It also means smaller profits. It's been dry. Um, it just makes, makes hard work harder. David Fink says life on the farm this year has been more difficult than ever before. To stay ahead of the drought, they've irrigated their crops more than ever. And more water out of these hoses means more money out of their pockets. You're burning more fuel. Uh, you know, it's, it's more labor. Uh, just, just moving water and, and uh, just work on top of work. The cost of fuel is, is through the roof. So, you know, you add fuel on top of, of uh, fertilizer and everything else, it's... Uh, it's uh, Cost is up. And David says here at the farm they can't pass all of those costs on to their customers, so that means less profit for them. And speaking of less, this family farm that relies on fall visitors will be showcasing a slightly shorter corn maze and a decent crop of pumpkins, but many not as big as in years past. And David says a lot of the vegetables got stressed because of the hot and dry weather. Conditions he says they had no choice but to work through. It was rough. You know, it's, uh, you know you're up at 2, 3 in the morning. Sometimes four moving, moving lines of pipe, switching pipe. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's tough, but there's no, no other option. You just got to gotta keep on going. And they've been going, working hours most of us are not familiar with. In average conditions, it's about an 80 to 90 hour work week. But David says. And then put overtime on top of it, you know, and it just, it, it, that's where it makes it tough. You know, you can deal with that for a short period of time, but we, when you get over, you know, two, three, four weeks of that, it, uh, it wears on you. Yeah, now David says because of all their hard work this summer, though, he expects pumpkin time, as he calls it, which is just around the corner, to be a very healthy one here at this family farm. And when we asked him about the potential for rain tomorrow, he said at this point, it really doesn't matter. Live in Wading River tonight, Joe Arena, News 12, Long Island.